Welcome to the October 2022 edition of Corporate Reporting Insights. We have structured this newsletter in five parts. We've got one part on Australian developments, international developments, sustainability, not-for-profit entities, and finally also the public sector. If we start with Australian developments, First of all, we have an article on the impact of the six recent interest rate increases on 31 December financial statements. We also look at the great resignation and how you can keep your finance team intact. We highlight the recent ASIC update to form FS70 that are used by AFS licensees. And we also remind you um, that directors need to apply for, the direct, for their director IDs by the end of November. In our second section, we address sustainability. First of all, we have an article explaining the increased focus on greenwashing. We then also have an article where we explain the recent EU Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive. We remind you that in October, we had a webinar on decarbonisation. And, and if you would like to, you can watch a recording of that. And the slides are also available. We would like to invite you to our upcoming Sustainability Networking Forum, which will be hosted in Perth, but also available online if you're in the rest of Australia. And that is on the 26th of October. Again, we would like to remind you to register for our upcoming ESG webinars. In the next one, on the 3rd of November, we look at ESG-linked remuneration. In our third section, we look at international developments. And here, we highlight that the IASB has made an amendment to IFRS 16, and this impacts accounting for sale and leaseback transactions. When we look at the next session around not-for-profit entities, we note that the AASB is seeking feedback on its recent proposals to have simplified accounting requirements for Tier 3 not-for-profit private sector entities. And then in the fifth and final section, we look at private sector. First of all, we know there's a post-implementation review of AASB 1059, which is looking at service concession arrangements and accounting for that by grantors. And finally, we also note that the AASB has made certain uh, important decisions around fair value measurements in the public sector. We hope you enjoy this edition of Corporate Reporting Insights.